Yes, guys, so I've basically been on my SoundCloud and I've got so many tunes from like six year old to sort of 10 year old. So, what I've done is I've downloaded a couple now and we're going to have a little listen, sort of like a blind react. So, here we go. So, I've basically got five tracks in Logic now, so I'm going to have a little listen to them now. Like, this must have been about eight year old because I was into the whole like, live drums. Yeah, I think that was definitely from like the Dead Mouse era. Let's jump in the second one now. <laughs> this will make your booty twerk. Cringe. This will make your booty twerk. Yo, the mix sounds tight on this though. The mix sounds tight. This isn't even that bad. Josh, if you're ever seeing this in the past, please do not put cringy vocals on this. Nah, 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 nah. Let's listen. The drop's tight, though. The drop's tight. The fill. That is not that bad. The mix is tight. I mean, I don't know why the whole booty twerk thing was... Uh, that was definitely like seven, eight years ago when sort of trap was sort of killing it. Anyway, number three. Let's listen to what this is like. Oh, yo, this, I remember this really well. So this was when the whole melodic big room sort of came in. But like, I love creating that like, atmosphere here. And I remember the fills. And I used to always do these like really stop start fills as well. I remember that here. That's, yo, I'm, I'm not going to say pleasantly surprised because definitely not, but anyway, moving on to number four. Right, a little backstory here. So basically I was in contact with Like Mike from Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike. Uh, I sent him a couple of stuff and he's like, uh, really love your stuff, but I'd like more of a theme. And I was thinking, right, a theme, theme, theme. And obviously I was watching Car uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Listen to this. Huh. And I remember on the drop, I had like swords like going for down, down, like swords clashing. Let's listen to it here. It's heavy. Like. Why have I got so many kick drums there? Blue. I mean, it did say have a theme. Anyway, moving on to number five now. I don't reckon I have this one. I do. So this was in the time where, like, I really looked up to people like Dyro, like... Uh, Julian Jordan, that Martin Garrick sort of vibe. So you can, you can definitely hear it in here. Yo, it's a rolling sub for me. But yeah, I mean, this sounds... Production-wise, see, the thing is, obviously the stuff I make now is a lot more, like, production-wise maybe less technical. It's more about the emotion, the feel of the record, as opposed to here. I was like, yo, how can I show off how good I am, ish, of a producer I am? So I had all these cool ideas and I, I struggled to streamline them because I was so focused about being technically good that the actual emotion and the vibe of the record wasn't a priority. Rather, now it's all about the vibe and the emotion. Like, I don't want to fill it with 20 layers. I just want it to sound good. And that's it. So that was good for me because it's like a sort of self-reflection thing. I mean, back then it was like, say, all about technical skill. It wasn't about the vibe of the record. So the stuff I make now is more about the songwriting, more about the vibe of the record, as opposed to trying to impress other producers and stuff. Uh, as well as, obviously, I clearly learned a lot about mixing and sort of balancing things out because that is a nothing short of a car crash. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, something a bit different from my channel. I'm trying to do more of, like, where I am now and where I've come from. Uh, like a lot of my old stuff, like how I got here, some cool stories and stuff. So if you want to see something in particular, make sure you drop it in the comments below and I'll see you all soon.